Hey guys, Technomentor here with a video for you guys to show you guys how to use WebEx Meet. So WebEx Meet is a video conferencing tool that's free to use if you have a personal account and it's free to sign up as well. But you might be using it for your organization or company as well and they usually will have an account for you. So to use the smart app version of it, simply either go to Apple Store or Google Play Store and search for WebEx. So here I'm searching for WebEx on the Apple Store and once you search that you will see Cisco WebEx Meeting. That's the one you want to download. There's also a global meet for the audio component of it. Sometimes you may need to download that as well. Since I have it already downloaded here, as you can see, I have WebEx Meet. This is the logo for it. We're simply going to go open up. Next to WebEx is Zoom, which is also another option for video conferencing. If you guys want to check it out, check out the video that we also did for that one in our channel. So let's go ahead and we'll open up WebEx. So once you open up WebEx, you'll see right away there's a couple ways to actually join a meeting um there's a one to join meeting right away and then there's also one to sign in if you already have an account or you can also sign up for our account as well so when you join when you want to join a meeting simply click on join meeting and you'll see that it is asking for a meeting number or a url usually if you're being invited as a participant to a meeting they'll usually give you the meeting number which you can enter and then put your name and email and you can hit the join button or if you got a url from the host you can also enter that in and you can get connected right away without actually signing up for our account. That's one way to sign up for it. Um, the second way that we will want to do is actually create an account. So if you're looking to host a meeting, we do need an account on WebEx to create that meeting and you want to hit that sign up button or if your organization has credentials for you, you can ask for them the credentials and they should be able to provide you with that. So let's go ahead and sign in. Since I already signed up, oh, I'll show you guys how you would sign up. If you didn't want to sign up, you click on the sign up button and then give it a second to load. And then here, as you can see, you, know, you don't need any credit card or anything, just need your email and then you can get started right away. I already went ahead and did that and created a personal account. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my personal account. Um, so there's a couple of options. The personal one that I'm gonna sign into mine right now is actually um, the free version of it, which allows me to host meetings up to 40 minute limit. So you do have a limit because it's a free version and you can invite up to 100 people at once. So that's one thing to note. Um, and you can have unlimited meetings as well. And then if you look in their website, you'll see the different versions that they do have that will allow you to, um, you know, kind of upgrade to other plans if you prefer. Right now, as you can see, I signed into my personal free account that, you know, I signed up for earlier to show you guys what it will look like when you guys actually log in. Even the personal one allows you to do free video conferencing and has a bunch of features even for team collaboration, um, mobile features and security features as well. And they do also provide online support even with the free edition which is great because you know it's an awesome tool for video conferencing and meetings so here as you can see i'm logged in so once you're logged in i still have that option to join another person's meeting if they gave me the url for it or i can go ahead and start my meeting if you go start a meeting it'll say okay you know your name and then the personal room here you can select um, the different audio version that you want. You can use the internet for audio, you can call in, or you, you can just not have audio at all. So that's one thing to know. Um, whenever these m these icons are marked red, as you see right here, that means those are turned off. So when, you, when I hit the join, it will be turned off. But if I uh, click on it, it will toggle to black, which means it's not muted anymore, it's turned on the video. And then we're gonna go ahead and click to join here. So once you click to get started, as you can see, this is the information as a host that you want to give to your participant. So you want to give them uh, the URL or the meeting number and they should be able to join. So right now the meeting is started. If you click right here, as you can see, there's a list of participants. So right now I'm the only one in my meeting because you know I haven't invited anyone. But once you do invite people, you'll see the names of the other people that join either by their phone number or if they have an account you'll see their name as well. So that's the other thing to note right there. Also to note in that participant list, you can actually chat over here. So if you want to chat with everyone, you can type 
um, anything, it will send the chat to the group. And as you can see here, you, this is where you can invite people as well in this participant list. If you click invite, it'll ask you if you have people that you want to invite from contact and you can enter their number or their even email address here. So that's another way to invite. And then this mute option to just, you know, if, you know, if you wanted to mute everyone, you can just hit that and it'll mute everyone, I believe. Um, and then here, as you can see all these icons right here, if you click on these three dots, it gives you a lot more options like, you know, putting a lock room and all these other settings. Um, if you wanted to do poll, chat with everyone, share content. So this is if you're looking to share either your screen or your phone, or if you're looking to share stuff from Dropbox, Google Drive, and a bunch of other options here, even your photos is here. Or if you wanted to share a 3D object, that's a new feature that they came up with. So that's, you wanna check those settings out. And then finally the X over here that you see, if you click that, that is gonna go ahead and end our meeting. So we're gonna click that and it'll ask you, do you want to leave? And we hit that and it will kick us off the meeting. Also, to, another thing to note here, if you scroll around, is actually if you have your meetings, if you have a bunch of meetings that you organize, this is a calendar view that you can look at what meetings are scheduled, or if you sync it with your organization's calendar, it will show up here. And also, if you swipe to the third uh, menu here, you'll see, see you can also do some recording here that allows you to do recording and save it here. Let's look at another option here, which is, you know, this gear icon for your settings. If you click here, you know, th this is like the account component of it where you can set up the different options for audio, your meeting list, your device, some sh series shortcut if you use that. So if you go through it, you'll see the options that they have. Um, you wanna go ahead and explore that and set it up based on your personal preference and however you want you know, the settings to be by default, most default options are um, awesome, but you know, you can always adjust it as well. And also this account thing, this is where if you're looking to change up your site, so usually organizations will have their own custom WebEx site URL that you wanna change. If you're looking to change, you know, your profile picture, you can do that as well here. And that's pretty much it for using WebEx. So that's how you would connect using WebEx either with the WebEx meeting number or the URL that you're given and if you're looking to create your own meeting just hit start meeting and this should guide you through hopefully this video helped thanks for watching guys and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and also comment on if you have any issues that you want us to take a look and try to get back to you